What's up everybody, it's Art from Masters of None and with me, I can say this, my friend Norman Lee, <laughs> artist extraordinaire. He's hooked me up with not only great pictures and great stuff for everybody from comics, but he's hooked me up with Patriots tickets. So he's combining my worlds, football and comics, so I gotta thank you for that. So did you come we're at the New York Comic Con. Did you come here? Did you have gone to all five of them? I have um, gone to two of them, okay. two of the five. I heard the first year, all this, not all this stuff, but it was so small that it was in the basement of the Javits Center, so that's Yeah, I believe time. that um, it, they also had to, you know, kind of withhold people from coming in because it just got so jammed up at the fire department, kind of, um, you know. The kibosh and, you know, yeah. maximum occupancy. So, so if you left, we uh, couldn't come back yet. Uh, it was kind of rough. It's kind of rough. So, uh, what have you been, uh, I mean, you've done stuff for Marvel, DC, have you done anything for other other for any other comics? Uh, yeah, I work for Dark Horse as well, doing like Spy Boy, um, Star, Star Wars, Wars too, Jedi yeah. Quest, yeah, that's right, Aliens vs. Predator, and um, some uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. So. Nice, very cool. Mm -hmm. Now, what are you working on right now? Yeah, I know that you, you off camera, you and I were talking about stuff uh, from DC. What's going on with DC right now? DC, um, DCU online stuff. Um, it's gonna the comics gonna coincide with the storyline uh, of the video game that's coming out, I believe, in January. And they're gonna have the storyline pretty much be in comic form, and it's gonna go pretty much um, how this, the the story goes in on the uh, background story for the video game. All right, very cool. And uh, you're also working uh, for Marvel. You showed us some sketches earlier when we stopped by. Uh, for some Spider-Man uh, action figures, right? Oh yes, uh, Hasbro stuff actually. The Hasbro stuff is um, the, the toy packaging stuff that all the Spider-Man, um, all the Spider-Man things that are coming out uh, this year. Like, and that's already out. Here's some of the uh, some of the pictures. Look at that. Spider-Man with his wing. And yeah, you've done ad adaptations of Spider-Man, right? Yes. Basically, they have them in different costume, different equipment. And basically, it's uh, Spider-Man's fiercest foe. Look at that. Awesome. And these are the battle cards that are gonna come with the toys. So. Now, gonna, uh, you're an artist. Now, do you do your, you know, the, the drawing, and then you also do all the color work too, right? Well, actually, there's somebody else who does the colors. Okay. Um, do you have a tracer, like in Mall Rats? <laughs> yeah, well, actually, I, I guess I would be that tracer. I do like finishes and some inks, but um, I do pencils as well. I'm a little slow on the pencils. That's why I'm a little faster on the inks. Okay. And uh, yeah. I work with uh, two other people as well, but I'm one usually work on a Very cool. Now, for you're working on the same the same number of guys for Marvel, for DC, for anybody, or is it? Yeah, you should be a uh, writer, penciler, inker, yeah. colorist. No, do you have the same ones you work with, or no? It's different for each. It's usually different for each um, book, but sometimes you try to keep us together and yeah, work on the same projects. Like um, at Trevor, we did like several Marvel Avengers books for like a few years, and um, Spy Boy, I was with uh, Pop Man for like two or three years as well, so they try to keep us together, have a nice run, and you can see the progression in the characters as well. Now, Jay, get, if you can, get this. This is uh, your banner, and it's got uh, an Amor, uh, Submariner, uh, Human Torch, Captain America, and what's the uh, what Marines up there? Is that, what's the story behind that? Uh, no, like, basically it's a, just, you know, I just wanted to have a background on it, because okay. basically it was a graphic, yeah. and actually Lisa Lubera did the colors, she, I, oh yeah, I wanted sort of like a military mood setting, and okay. she thought, you know, the flag and the Chinook would be a good, you know, representative of like, you know, that whole military feel. Very cool. Now what is your, I don't know if you can say this, you know, since you work for different companies, what is your favorite person to work, like, to draw or to work on? I, you know, I'm dig it, on the Marvel side, I'm digging Captain America. Okay. Gotta love that, and you know, you can't you can't be Wolverine. As far as uh, DC, um, I'm hoping to do like a DCU online. I got to do, you know, you have like Superman and Wonder Woman, but I gotta say, I dig in uh, drawing Batman, nice. inking Batman and stuff. You gotta love him. What's uh, your favorite comic book movie that came out? Oh man, that's tough. There's some good stuff. I gotta say, um, right off the. Currently, I gotta say Iron Man looks pretty sweet. All right. But uh, I think that's was pretty cool. Uh, you yeah. Know? That's, you know, the funny thing is, is when Iron Man came out, you know, when the movies, when they, you know, the Superman, Batman, Spider Man, and the X Men was kind of a stretch because, yes, X Men is big, but it's a wide range of, you know, com uh, comic books Spider Man, Superman, Batman. And it came out with Iron Man. The cast, the way, you know, Farrow directed and all that came out really well. It kind of brought the comics, books, and movies to a new level. Like, this is what you have to do. And then when Kick-Ass came out, people were like, whoa, what, what, what is this? You know, it's a comic book movie, we really haven't read the comic. And then a lot of people, when I 
Iron Man 2 came out, they're like, eh, it wasn't that good. I thought it was as decent as Iron Man 1. I loved Iron Man. What are your feelings on that? Where Do you think sometimes where the first movie is so good that, especially like with Iron Man, because I, I had no beef with Iron Man 2. Do you feel that sometimes there's so much pressure to like, all right, we, we raise the envelope, I mean, we push the envelope for Iron Man 1, now we got to do it for Iron Man 2, and if it doesn't push the envelope, it stays the same. Do you think it's a failure, or like, how do you think? Yeah, you know, it's always, you know, you always want the next one to be that much better than yeah. the first. The first one was just pretty rock solid. Great casting. Whoever did the casting should get some kind of nomination or award for Because brilliant casting. Did you want to see the, uh, Don Cheadle, like, uh, or did you want to keep Terrence Howard? I, I thought Terrence, physically, and he just he just looks good as, like, you know, Brody. Yeah. But, um... Cheeto, he's, he's that good of an actor where he'll convince you. Yeah. And considering how short Robert Downey is, you know, physically, it, yeah. it works out. It works out well. Yeah. Very cool. Um, well, one last question before I ask you the Gunnox and Six Cube. Uh, what is uh, who's your favorite Joker? Um, Nicholson or Ledger? I go with Ledger. Nice. I totally agree. Totally agree. Um, now we're gonna ask you for the other site we work on is Gunnox.com. They have a standard Six Cube. Uh, who's your favorite athlete? Favorite? Oh, jeez. I, I can't even think. Right now, I'd have to say uh, Randy Couture. Randy Couture. Nice. Who's your favorite hottie? Oh, dude. <laughs> Too many to list. Currently, right now. You, had a Current, you know what? Um, if she says nothing, I'd say Megan Fox looks pretty good. What's your favorite movie? Uh, favorite movie? Jeez. You don't have to say... Uh, I just saw The Town. Okay. And that was just pretty damn good. The Town? Yeah. That's very cool. Uh, what's your favorite? Who's your favorite comedian? Favorite comedian? Oh man, jeez, I don't even. I couldn't even. I can't even think of any. All right, cool. Oh, man. Do a pass on that one. What's your favorite gadget? Favorite gadget? You know, I gotta say the uh, the the Cintiq. Cintiq. What is? You can uh, draw on um, on like it's basically it's a twenty inch monitor. Yeah. You just do Photoshop on there and stuff like that. I'm kind of digging that. Nice. Kind of digging that. Makes the job a little easier. That's awesome. I got to check that out. And finally, uh, what's your favorite beer? Favorite beer? Uh, I'd have to say Guinness Extra Stout. Nice. Very cool. Norman Lee, check him out. Do you have a website? Uh, you can uh, just reach me at nlee2268 um, at msn.com. Awesome. Check out his work. Phenomenal artist.